Hey there, gamer. You want to hear our noble voices, right? If so, then pump up the volume. Grandma, how's it going up there? You're watching, right? How do I look right now? I'm guessing pretty bad. In terms of spiciness at the Mabo Curry Shop, it's at least a 10, right? Okay, I get it, Grandma. All right, per usual. The situation might be tough, but it doesn't matter, really. After all, even if there only seems to be doom at the end, there's only one way forward. That's to keep on fighting nobly, because that's the Fulcott family way! All right. Here it goes! Instead of thinking you're surrounded by foes, you simply picture it as a series of one-on-one -on -one fights. Then, even the spiciest Mabo curry ain't that bad. Right? Here it goes! Bring it on! This is the Fukat family way! Taken down. Well, whatever. Thanks to this, I was able to buy that peddler enough time to escape. That makes all of this worthwhile. And of course, now it comes down to how nobly I can finish this thing. Right. This is it. Time to put it all on the line. Make this last fight one to remember. of you for a second. Apparently so. But still, for as long as I live and breathe, I promise, I won't let you die in a blaze of glory, Leo. <laughs> you trying to steal my thunder? But seriously, thanks, guys. Now, let's do this! You, you got, got it! it.
Okay, you go. You take that side for me. Sure. Here, Celia, you take that in. Exactly. Hey, wait a minute, Leo. I thought we were saving your life. So how come you're the one bossing us around? Yeah. I'm bossing you around. I'm giving useful commands. <laughs> Did you see that, Grandma? A thrilling comeback from an almost certain death. It takes a noble spirit to put on that kind of show. But guess who's got one? Me, Leo Fukad. All you did was get rescued by your childhood friends. If anyone deserves credit for acting nobly back there, it's me and Celia for risking our lives to save you. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's get out of here while we can. Leo, you okay? Sure, no problems here. If memory serves, there's a village not far from here. It's on the smaller side. I think it was called Ducey? Why don't we head there for now? We can rest and pick up supplies. Sounds good. Talking about spicy curry to your grandma in that life or death situation. It came off a little more cute than noble. It reminded me of you as a kid. Oh, you heard that, did you? Mm-hmm. So what are we gonna do with you? You end up in mortal peril every time we take our eyes off you. Not every time. Relax, you don't need to treat me like I'm an infant. Honestly, you'd be easier to watch if you were an infant. You'd have to crawl towards danger instead of sprinting. Uh. Eat that! <laughs> Look, it's not like it's intentional. I don't go out looking for trouble, it comes after me. This time, in the form of someone who needed help. This time, huh? Okay, like most times. I'm sorry, alright? You don't sound like it. I mean, this isn't the first time we've had to bail you out. You're the best. The most reliable pals a guy could ask for. Keep up the good work, you heroes. Yeah, yeah I think you're laying it on a little thick there. Take that! Bring it on! Bring it on! I like this forest. It's a nice place for a walk. I'm not here on vacation, Leo. Right, but I understand how he feels. Having grown up in Sylvair, we're practically one with the forest. Well, yeah, I get that. Oh, man. 
Looks like we've cleared the woods. Is the village you mentioned past these grasslands? Should be. So, how did you wind up in that mess anyway? Ah, uh, well, I came across this peddler, you know, a guy with a cart. He was running for his life from these beasts, and, well... And you just couldn't turn a blind eye. Yeah, that sounds like you, Leo. But where did he go after you stepped in? Where do you think? He ran to safety. All thanks to yours truly, who got the beast's attention. Leo, this was a total stranger, right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Leo, did you get anything in return for helping him? Did you get his contact information? Come on! Did he at least thank you in some way or form? <laughs> Don't be silly, Sally S. There wasn't any time for that, obviously. And if we're talking about what I got in return, I just boosted my nobility big time. What could be more valuable than that? <laughs> hey, why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. We just need to keep an even closer eye on our boy. Right, Mama Celia? Right, Papa Hugo. Just be careful. Don't let our little troublemaker stress you out too much. Guys... Whoa! What's going on here? Where did all these pole wiggles come from? We don't really have time for this. But if we let them go free, they might cause harm to the village. Come on! Let's take them out quickly. Ah, right then. Let's do it! I'm already on it! Bring it on! Good now, right? I think so. Let's move on. Why do you think there were so many of them? Maybe they were out enjoying this beautiful day. Even Bullwiggle's got to bask in the sun every now and then. Yeah, I highly doubt that's what they were doing. Let's go! Just to be sure, Leo, you do remember what our mission is, right? Huh? Uh, oh, of course. Um, it's, you know, to fight for world peace and whatnot. What do you think we are? 
Did you hit your head or what? Get him up to speed, Celia. Okay. Pay attention. After growing up as childhood friends, we enrolled at the Federation's Edis Knight Academy together. The three of us are first years. We're students of the class Blaze. Are we good so far? Yeah, of course. You can keep going if you want, though. What's with that arrogant air of yours? <sighs> All right, I'll keep going. So, being with Blaze means that we're a bit special. We serve as an immediate response force that takes on missions when the army requests it. Right, and we get these missions because we're so special and awesome, right? Like we've already got our embleos and everything. I guess you could put it like that. Still, that doesn't make us defenders of world peace. <sighs> embleos are pretty amazing though, huh? Letting you control powerful mana like that? The training to wield them well is pure murder, though. And since they're so powerful, we have to be careful. Power can help or harm depending on how it's used. Yeah, you're right. Come on! Take this! Bring it on! Take this! Take this! Take this! Tell us what our mission is, Leo. Bring it on! The one that Instructor Lizette gave to the entire class? After having us assemble outside the school today? What the hell? Ah, uh, yes. It's coming back to me now. I recall an Imperial spy was on the run, right? Nice. Good memory there, Leo. Oh, sweet! Did we already track him down? And turn him in? Or no? Nope. We still haven't caught this guy. Heck, we don't even have any clues as to where he is yet. At least you know where things stand. But something about this strikes me as odd. Hasn't it been quite a while since we left school, Celia? Indeed it has. Yet we haven't even started our search yet. Which is strange because I'm not sure if you've noticed. But we're already battered and bruised, despite that fact. Um, that... 
Now, Leo, sizing up this situation, do you have anything to say to us? Uh, I... You what? I'm really sorry, okay? I, Leo Foucault of Class Blaze, 18th generation of the Edis Knight Academy, solemnly vow to focus on our mission to hunt this spy. First things first, though. We need to deal with these beasts. Hey there, gamer. You want to hear our noble voices, right? If so, then pump up the volume. Now, Leo, sizing up this situation, do you have anything to say to us? Uh. I... You what? I'm really sorry, okay? I, Leo Foucault of Class Blaze. Whoa, when did all these guys show up? Looks like we're up against a whole pack of them. You two up for this? Sure. Of course. Yeah. There's still more of them? Time to complain, Leo. Awaken my Ipleo! Back on my Come on! Not your back, Leo. Bring it on, Celia! Beat more than you, Celia. Uh, since when were we competing? Like, 
Are we there yet? Oh, uh -huh. is Mr. Defender of World Peace?